know. So in this holiday season, I have seen a lot of advent calendars, um, makeup, um, fingernail polish, uh, jewelry even. I don't know. I've never in my life seen anybody do a Reese's um, countdown calendar. This is 24 Reese's miniature cups. Um, I don't know if they're going to be different ones. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen this before. So I did get this from Ross. You know, went out to do a little Black Friday shopping here and there. You know, nothing nothing major. Just a little light work because there was nothing to choose from. Let's just say that. I saw this. This was surprisingly $3.99. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Now, I'm going to pull off the, the reduced price sticker. And I'm going to see how much it really was. Because they got this sticker. As you can see, reduced $3.99. Let's get it off. If I can. Because I want to see how much was this originally. And why they mark this down? Are these going to be outdated and expired or lacking taste and deliciousness i want to know but anyway i'm not going to be eating all these i'm opening it up and then i'm gonna give it to my son i can't get it off guys i'm always every video i'm always having some difficulties well it took the whole sticker off so we ain't never gonna know what the real price was anyway this is what it looks like and it's pretty cute i like the color the how they kept it um kept it with the Reese's thing like the orange the green whatever and then the Santa Claus he's the same color as me oh I love him so much and then of course the back you get a word search and then you have the words on the side you have the nutrition facts let's see what the serving size says Eight servings per container. Three pieces for each serving. That's okay. I guess that's not a lot to some people. But that's pretty much all you get. Let's see what it says. It says lots. Best Buy. May 31st, 2025. So it's not even expired. It's still in good standing with us. We don't got to be worried about it. Okay. So let's go ahead. And you know I'm not coming back every day to open up some Reese's cup no we're opening all of them right now today so it is numbered and because of the coloring of the packaging I don't know if you guys can see it but the numbers are very small there's number one there's number two so on and so forth so let's go ahead and open them and I got my camera set up today so you guys can see me actually open them now if my camera fall, do not be in disarray. I will pick it back up. I will start where it fell at. Okay? Let's get into it. All right. So, number one. I wonder if this going to be all the same Reese's. I, you know, it's a Reese's cup. Like, how much different can you get? This one is a red one. Okay? And let's see what it is. This is just a regular Reese's cup, I think. It says it just says Reese's peanut butter cup. All right, so that's that. I guess you just get twenty four Reese's. Let's just open it and find out. Y'all, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm thinking that the paper is just going to be different colors, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to see. I've never seen one like this. So that one's gold. This one's red. That one's gold. You got to excuse me. I've been on this air. And I keep doing that because, man, the air was not nice to me today. Okay, we got another gold one. And I'm going to leave them in the order that I get them out of the box. So, y'all, guess what? You ain't going to get no huge surprise with this. It's just Reese Cups. That's it. That's all. Now, you got a green one. Ew. I was looking for a fingernail polish or a makeup advent calendar. Could not find one. Red. So that's all this is. This is actually just red, gold, and green Reese's. And it's just Reese's cup. I'm going to open one and eat one for sure. 
but yep so seven we're on number seven. Oh, it's green that's all this is guys this isn't anything spectacular so while i'm doing this they ate let's talk about black friday did i get up at four or five o'clock in the morning to rush out to go get some sales and get the deals no i absolutely did not i stayed in my warm bed why because I realized that the, the prices, the so-called so sale prices, are not sales at all. So, for example, today, day 10, um, I went to Walmart to get some brand new tires. Now, I did get a good deal on those. Um, I was watching a set of tires. They was $4.15 for the set, plus you have to pay for rotation, plus you have to pay for installation which is $18 per tire so you close to $600 another gold one on day 11 I'm still paying attention to what I'm doing and so as they were doing my tires you know I had to wait two hours blah 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 whatever so I was like you know what let me get up and walk around the store because at this point I'm hungry but I wanted some grapefruit juice as well and i wanted to check some of the prices of the things that i've been watching now i did want to get a 75 inch tv because i saw that they had brought it down to 400 when i seen it like a month ago it was 448 dollars and some change right we're on day 12 by the way still nothing special here Gotta be a deep throw. Anyway, so I'm watching this TV. I'm watching this computer because my computer got wet in my apartment and I just need a new computer. So I go mosey on over. It's like, oh, it's Black Friday. I forgot. You know, I was watching that TV and maybe it's cheaper. So I sashay myself on over there and lo and behold, the TV that went from 448 to 479. Now, what in God's name? What in God's name do you think you're doing with the prices at Holy World? Tell me, what do you think you're doing? So then I said, Oh, okay. Leave her right where she's at. I go over, they had a Keurig um coffee uh machine with the pods and stuff. Not the one where you got the pot and the Keurig, but it was just the single. You know, you can do one cup at a time. You know, you do just the 8 ounce, the 10 ounce, the 12 ounce. That's the, everybody probably know what I'm talking about because they had them on sale for $29.99. I should have got it when I seen it. So I'm moseying on over. I was like, okay, well, let's go see if they still got the Keurig for $29.99. I'll buy that as I open number 14. Let's guess what number 14 would be. I'll say number 14 is going to be another gold. Voila. And I am absolutely correct. Go. So, I go over to the section where all the coffee machines are at. And, you know, I'm just thinking, like, you know, it was $29.99. I know for sure it's Black Friday. They didn't mark a few more dollars off of that thing. So, I'm just going to get one, you know, telling my son. Oh, no, I'm not going to get one. You want to know why? Because the Black Friday deal, day 15, is red. It was $49.99. Now you tell me, what sense do that make? Black Friday means we're getting the ultimate deals. We're getting the ultimate steals. We're getting the sales of a lifetime. That's what I thought it was supposed to be about. But Walmart proved me wrong. Mm -hmm. They really did. They really did. So... What I did was mosey right on back over to the auto center and waited for my car tires to be put on. I was so disgusted. And so I'm in Rockwell. I had to go to the bank. So I went to the bank so I can get some money out. You know, just I said, you know, well, I guess I can just go get me some clothes. I need pants. All my pants got ripped. All my pants are like up above my ankle, you know, whatever the case may be. Day 17 is go. And so I said, okay, let me go to the bank. Go get me some um, 
some good old jeans. You know, it's a sale going on. Why, why not? So I didn't feel like really doing them all. It's too many people there. I knew it was going to be jam-packed. I said, let me go to Ross Dress for less. That's how I ended up with this. I was really there to look for jeans. So day 18 is gold. So I go to Ross. I found me a pair of boots. You know, the purses and the boots are right in the front of the store. You can't miss them. Another gold. And that is day 19. We're almost done here. So, I go moseying. I found me a nice pair of boots. They were on sale for $32.99, I think. Um, so, I grabbed those. And I was like, okay, let me go hit up the clothes. Let me go look in the jeans section. I'm trying to figure out what circus I walked into. Because the pants are... The section, first of all, was in disarray. Clothes everywhere on the floor i was so disgusted with that place day 20 is go so i'm like what is going on in this store people are looking at stuff and throwing it on the floor literally like right before your very eyes people are walking around looking like zombies it's like they don't have a conscious a, a conscious thought that okay it's somebody else walking right here by me let me say excuse me and not run them over oh no i almost got ran over three times i'm like you know what this stupid stuff is for the bird this is not for me so let me hurry up and check this section and get out of here i just want to go home at this point day 21 another gold they got more gold than anything in here so I mosey on over and, you know, look through the section. It's nothing but bell bottom pants and the jeans are all like up above your ankle. Now it's winter time. Why are all the jeans up like Capri style jeans? Like literally that's all I could find. Okay. And so then I was like, okay, well maybe I can get some sweats for work, you know? I guess I'll just wear some sweats, something cozy and comfortable. I play with kids all day. So, you know, the sweats would do me nice. Day 22, go. So, I'm just in the pants section, period. Everything I touch was an extra large, a large, or XX large. Where's the mediums and the smalls? So, for Black Friday, you don't cater to the smaller people at all. Everybody got a big booty in the world. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm. When I say I'm disgusted, this is why I don't Black Friday shop. It's a trick to get you to spend your money because it's not the best deals and it's not the best prices. Now, I did find two pair of jeans, but they don't fit me, and I, I felt like I was forced to get those. Like. It was only normal pair. They did come down under the ankle. But that's what I was looking for because it's winter time and it's cold. Like, who wants to wear Capri style pants and pants with slits and tears in them all year round? I don't. I felt like I was cold to the bone when the wind hit me today. I definitely didn't want no slits in my pants. I'm cold. Day 23, green. And so. You know, the, it was slim pickings, to say the least. It, it was not good. I don't know how you guys' area was. You let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm telling you, it's it's everything is so different. And it's to the point where you can't even find just a normal outfit anymore. Have anybody else noticed that? If it's not a body shirt or a crop top, it's, it's looking like it's for somebody's auntie. I'm like, what is going on? I can't. I'm just, I don't understand. I don't know what's happening in the world. Maybe I'm in the house too much. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Day 24 is green and that is it. And so now that I finished our Reese's at then, this is what it looks like after all in a disarray. Um, I'm going to put them all back in here because I'm not going to eat them. I am going to eat one for you guys though. It's just regular Reese's. Ain't nothing special about this because if it was, it would have said so. And it's just saying 
uh, milk chocolate uh, Reese's cup. That's a regular to me. Here we go. Ooh, I love me a Reese's cup, doll. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so creamy. Mmm. Okay. So back to my rent and rave. Mm hmm. So at the end of the day, I was disgusted. So I was like, you know. Let me go to another store. And so I was finna go into Marshall's. But like I said, the mall was just off. I was not treading through them people like that. That place was so jam packed when I passed by. I kept on trucking right on past. So I said, let me go to Marshall's then. I'll go to Marshall's then. Let's see what's up. It was so many people going in that door at once. I was like, nah. No, we 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 not doing we not doing Marshalls either. We're not doing it. So I was like, you know what? I kept on rolling. Something said, "You love to thrift. Go ahead and swing on by Old Goodwill. That's on the way." I said, "Okay, I will." I swung by Goodwill, and the parking lot wasn't jam packed. It wasn't crazy in the store. Probably because it was only 30 minutes before they was closed. I didn't know they closed at 7 o'clock. So, at the end of the day, you know, I was kind of moseying in on a late note. So, I ended up going in, you know, thinking that they was doing some kind of Black Friday something. Which I was wrong. The Goodwill was just Goodwilling in the same old fashion that it always does. You know, who am I? I, I didn't know that. And so, I go in, I was like, I know I can find, you know, some jeans. I know I can. So, when I go go, go thrifting, I usually only pick stuff that still have tags on it. Like, it has to be brand new. It has to be in, like, top of the line condition. Like, I'm not really going to get stuff that's beat up, ugly, worn. I'm not doing it. So... I would go search out jeans. Nope. 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 So the lady that was working there, I was like, what's going on? Usually, you know, I can thrift a whole lot. I, I tear the thrift stores down. When I say I go thrifting, I go thrifting for real. Hauling. Now, that's a haul. I can haul, you know, real good at the thrift store. Neither here nor there. Anyway. I said, what's going on? It looked like the same stuff from when I was in here the last time. And mind you, it had been like a month or so, you know, since I had been in. So she was like, well, yeah, you know, they're not giving us any good stuff anymore. Um, they're not allowing us to put the good stuff out. They're selling it. I guess they sell stuff online, like the luxury brand stuff or the good stuff or anything that has tags on it now. So you don't even get it. Some of the stuff does hit the floor. Don't get me wrong. But she said the majority of the stuff is being sold online. I'm like, okay, Goodwill. Anyway, say to say the least, I found three pair of pants today. Yeah, I found three. And one of them has slits. But I bought it because it went all the way to the to the bottom of my ankle, like not at the top of my ankle. It really it covered my ankle. So if I was to wear some gym shoes or whatever the case may be, I won't have to worry about my ankles being frozen to death. So it did go down below. And that's the only reason why I bought them now. What my thought was is go ahead and get those because they go all the way down to the ankle and just put on some leggings underneath. That's pretty much what I'm going to have to do with most of my pants because saw people selling anymore and i'm just like what is going on i'm i'm so confused as to what happened with the clothing selection like i am so confused like for real i'm not trying to be funny i just don't understand what's happened half tops galore i'm talking about see-through shirts and raw i i have to hurry up and get out okay so with that being said, I ended up getting this having calendar that you watch me open so swiftly because ain't nothing but regular Reese's PCs in there. Now this is my first time ever doing a advent calendar. Like I said, I was look when I saw this, I was like, I'm quite sure they have other ones. Nope. 
nope nope so i went and asked the lady i was like y'all have any other advent calendars she was like no we don't i'm like oh so i guess the best place to find advent calendars will be online now i'm not saying all cities and all states are like that where you know in store you can't find i'm quite sure there's some stores that have something of course i missed them all i went to walmart i ain't see any there um but at the end of the day they only had this one in there and they probably had some more but it was like six o'clock when i went out like i was trying to let the crowd die down i'm thinking i'm really doing something oh baby i did absolutely nothing them people were still out there going bonkers do you hear me they was out there uh going for the jugular going for blood honey they was not saying excuse me they was not saying oh i'm sorry i ran you over with my card and almost knocked your back out of socket none of that they pushing through they're pushing through they're filling their carts they're doing what they have to do and they're getting out of there and let's not talk about the parking lots because the parking lots I almost got ran over twice i almost got ran off the expressway uh-huh yeah yeah trying to be out and about and in the world i said well the best place for me is just get back in the house you know because today was my day off and i ain't got time for the foolery of the world and i'm just gonna go back home and relax before i gotta go back to work tomorrow and that's what i did i ended up back here amongst you guys so i know this advent calendar is probably boring and i'm so blase because i thought they was gonna have something different in there i guess not but anyway you seen me open it 24 days of regular schmegular plain old reese's pieces the countdown is real here and um yeah enjoy enjoy your chocolate every day the same old reese's so with that being said in the comment section down below and let me know how your black friday went i don't celebrate holidays i don't i i do not and i don't care who don't like it i'm not sorry about it i don't do it i ain't gonna do it i don't care no i'm not giving an explanation and i'm just not so whatever you did for yesterday hopefully it was good for you but i worked yesterday and yeah that was yeah what i did so i will be giving you guys another video and i will be showing you what i found from the store okay i did find something but i think that video was kind of like a flop as well it's like uh, i was trying to bring stuff i just i don't know y'all youtube don't excite me like that like i'm trying to get excited i want to uh, i don't know I don't know. Pray for me as I as I go into the world of five products to try to review for y'all. It helped me to pray for me that I would do it right in a, in a exciting and you know in a a very vivacious way so you will love it and enjoy it. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. You have any comments, questions, concerns? You already know what to do. If you had not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so because I will be coming back for, with more. Um, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.